Hello everyone. While the auto sector is facing headwinds from interest rates and inflation, the May auto sales numbers have been a confidence booster. Most of the auto stocks have continued their strong momentum on the expectation of festive and merit season demand. Despite the contradicting macro outlook, the auto stocks will face margin pressure owing to high input costs and could also face lower demand on back of rising interest rates. We have been researching the sector and believe there are two stocks which have the potential to outperform the sector. Let us discuss some of the key highlights for each of them. The first stock that we have on our list is Mahindra and Mahindra, also known as M&M. M&M operates in various business segments, namely automotive, that includes sales of utility vehicles, commercial vehicles and three-wheelers, farm equipment, financial services related to financing of automobiles and tractors. And apart from this, it operates in various other businesses such as hospitality, IT, telecom, real estate, logistics and others through its subsidiaries. M&M has been losing market share in the utility vehicle segment in recent years owing to its inability to cash in on strong demand for compact SUVs and crossovers. Subdued performance of its earlier launches such as Marazzo and Alturas G4 had hurt the company's performance. Despite this initial failure, the company has been working on a strategy to turn around its performance by addressing the gaps. It has launched four SUVs and expects another SUV launch in June 2022 to regain its lost market share during the last few years. The company has already become number one in SUV revenue market share with 17.8% share in Q4 FY22 and 16.8% share in FY22. The company has open bookings of 170,000 vehicles of which more than 78,000 are for XUV700. The chip's shortage affected volumes in Q4 FY22 while the overall situation has improved sequentially. M&M maintains its leadership position in light commercial vehicles of less than 3.5 tons with a dominant market share of 42.7%. In the E three wheeler space, the company dominates with 73.4% market share in FY22. M&M gained 180 basis points year on year market share in the farm equipment segment to 40% in FY22. The farm equipment segment international subsidiaries continue to improve on performance with seven consecutive quarters of positive earnings before interest in tax. The management has given a positive commentary and plan to focus on its farm equipment segment given its aggressive growth plans in farm machinery and global expansion. Mahindra and Mahindra's Q4 FY22 results beat expectations in a challenging environment led by volume growth and cost cuts. Standalone adjusted profit after tax surged five times year on year. M&M's market share in SUV and PV segments continued to improve during the quarter led by new launches and brand building exercises. By financial year 2027, M&M will launch 10 utility vehicles including 5 electric vehicles and 13 tractors including 2 electric vehicle tractors apart from a series of implements which is nothing but things like cultivator, disc harrow, bucket scrapper etc. and 17 light commercial vehicles and 3 wheelers. The company's growth strategy will focus on the following. Number one, successful launches of SUVs, including EVs. Number two, turnaround of its loss-making subsidiaries. Number three, scaling up of digital platforms. And number four, strong performance of its listed entities, which would improve the free cash flow henceforth. The company has maintained its capital expenditure plans while increasing allocation to auto and farm businesses reducing group companies' investments and monetizing some of its subsidiaries. The stock trades at a PE multiple of 15.5 times and an EV by EBITDA multiple of 9.5 times its FY24 estimated earnings. The next company that we have on the list is TVS Motor Company. TVS Motor Company Limited or TVS is engaged in manufacturing and sales of motorcycles, scooters, three-wheelers and mopeds. 
the company has a strong presence in the domestic and export market of motorcycles and scooters. Within motorcycles, the company has three categories for different customer segments, namely economy, executive and premium. Let's talk about its FY22 market share in each segment. In the premium segment, TVS is one of the top three players in the market share with 18% market share of its brand Apache. In the economy segment, the company has 9% market share for its brand Star City and a 5% market share for its brand Radeon. While the market share in executive segment is negligible, the launch of the Raider brand has helped TVS gain an initial foothold in this segment. TVS has improved upon its market share in scooters in FY22. It has also improved upon its marginal presence in the domestic three-wheeler passenger space. Out of its overall volume, 21% is contributed by domestic motorcycles, 31% by export motorcycles, 26% by domestic scooters, 15% by mopeds, 2% by export scooters, and 5% by export three-wheelers. In FI22, the share of the relatively profitable export motorcycles and export three-wheeler segments increased year-on-year. Year. In FI22 and Q4 of FI22, the share of the executive segment increased owing to launch of the Raider brand. TVS Motors reported inline revenue performance in Q4 FY22 with EBITDA margin sustaining at 10% despite higher raw material prices. EBITDA margin improved 10 basis points to 10.1% in Q4 FY22 driven by product mix and price hikes taken during the year. While EBITDA margin is expected to sustain at current levels, the company's focus on electric vehicles, especially two-wheelers and three-wheelers, and exports are likely to help it increase its market share in domestic and export markets. On September 2021, TVS Motors picked up an 80% stake in Ego for $17.9 million, with an eye on generating over $100 to $150 million in the next three to five years, by participating in the growing demand for e-bikes in the European continent. In January 2022, TVS Motor picked up a 75% stake in the Swiss e-mobility group SMEG for $100 million. SMEG is a Swiss e-bike platform covering B2B and B2C businesses involving the sale of branded e-bikes from leading manufacturers directly to the end consumer and sale of their own branded e-bikes through portfolio of B2B key accounts. Aggressive product launches, foray into new markets, and investments in new and clean technologies with profitable growth would be the key growth drivers. TVS Motors is expected to further increase capacity depending on penetration and demand for electric vehicles in India and international markets. TVS Motors management gave a positive commentary on volume recovery in the domestic market and continued momentum in exports in the coming year FY 2023. The stock trades below its historical average at a PE multiple of 22.1 time and an EV by EBITDA multiple of 12.1 time, its FY24 estimated earnings. While the stock market has shown significant correction, these two stocks have remained relatively strong and continued its upward momentum. These stocks are expected to outperform the sector. Technically, stocks look strong and investors should enter the stock based on the analysis of our technical expert, Mr. Kapil Mukashi. I now hand it over to our technical expert to get his view on the charts. This is Viral Shah signing out. Happy investing. Hi, my colleague Viral has already taken you through the fundamental outlook for two key stocks in the auto sector. Here, we will have a look at the technical outlook of these stocks and also discuss around which levels one can consider entering into them. But before we get there, we will first have a look at a technical outlook on the overall auto index as a whole because that will give us an idea of where are the stocks headed as well. The Nifty auto index has been mostly range bound since October 2021. However, the last month's close can bring some hope for the bulls as we have a bullish hammer formation on the monthly time frame chart. The index, the auto index closed around its monthly highs. The only problem with this bullish hammer is it is not coming after a downtrend in price 
but it is coming in the context of a sideways market. A hammer after a downtrend in price offers a much better reward to risk ratio than a hammer in a sideways market like the one we see over here. However, considering the fact that this bullish hammer is coming exactly around the 20 exponential moving average, we will give it some importance and there is a high probability that the index could do well going forward from here post this period of consolidation. Coming to the individual stocks, the first one that we are looking at is m, &M. This is one such rare stock which has just broken into a new high and doesn't have any close by resistance or a supply. The quarterly chart is forming a strong green candle which gives a clear indication of stock further moving up in the upcoming sessions. RSI on the quarterly time frame has just crossed 65 levels which is normally a bullish territory for a stock and this augurs well for m, &M in the upcoming trading sessions. 995 to 1000 which was very strong resistance level earlier has now broken out and this could now become a very strong support. The stock is close to good levels right now as we are talking right now and can be considered around the current levels and maybe adding some more around 900 levels would be extremely helpful as we will have a great reward to risk ratio around there. The second one is TVS Motors. This is very similar to the chart of m, &M with the only difference being m, m has already broken into an all time high whereas TVS Motor is yet to. However, a strong quarterly candle half yearly candle and substantial room till the upper end of the Bollinger Bands on both time frame suggests that the stock could do well in the upcoming months. The RSI on the quarterly time frame is 67 which is way below the overbought levels on higher time frame. It's available at a good price currently but if you want to time it more accurately technically you can consider the levels of 700 to 720 for the stock. So even in these falling markets, there are some opportunities available in certain pockets and auto sector is one of them. Do keep these two stocks in the radar in the upcoming trading sessions. Till then, take care and goodbye. We will meet you soon with a new video. But before that, do let us know your thoughts and the topics you would like to cover in the comment section below. And if you would like to see more such content, please ensure that you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon below. Thank you and see you soon. This should not be treated as a recommendation. Please conduct your own analysis or consult a financial advisor before investing. Thank you.